What's up? It's your boy, Freddie Robinson from Love and Hip Hop and Chrissy and Mr. Jones in the building with Imperial Hip Hop. We're about to get this interview popping. What's good? Let's go. So most people know you from VH1, you all on TV, but I did some research on you. You're also a producer. Yeah. Who else have you produced for? Um, I worked with Aaliyah a long time ago. Um, through like um, Naughty by Nature, I did some writing. Um, I worked with Jim Jones. I did a track with him. Me and my boy Smash did a track with him called um, Younger, featuring Sin City. Um, it's on YouTube. Got a bunch of hits. Um, I also do some acting and comedy. You know? you know, I was about to get on that. You were an official SAG actor. Yeah. You've been on like what is it? Law and Order. Yeah. Did some stuff with them. What was that like? Oh, um, that was a great experience working with Wolf and them. Um, I'm trying to get back to that point because I, I kind of took a little break from acting, but I'm getting back into it now. Um, Do you feel like love and hip hop? Is my and, passion, like. But was you know, love and hip hop and like doing the Christian gym? Was that like an acting gig for you, or was that real? Nah, it was more mostly real. Like you know, that was a real gig. Like. It all started in the house with me and Mama Jones, kind of filming everything we was doing every day. Mm -hmm. Then Jim got wind of it, yeah, he got wind of it. They went and told Mona. Next thing you know, Mona kind of took the concept and flipped it into something beautiful. So you, know? you and Jim were actually cool. All right, yeah, I'm well, I knew Jim for like, like, ten years or more. Like ever since I met his mom, he used to come over to the house. He knew who I was, you right. know. But me and him never really did anything together because. I was his mother's friend. Okay. You know, I was working as a consultant for his mom. Okay. So, you know, but that's how that relationship um, came to be. But like, um, he respected what I was doing. Right. You know, and I, I didn't really try to pressure him to do anything with me musically. You know, until I guess he found out that I was making music. Right. And, and then he just came to me and made the music, and then the rest of history. Yeah. Do you feel sense. like you doing that song with his mother tainted that relationship though? It did a little bit. Like him and Chrissy was it was natural. Yeah. But because you was in it, like beer, beer, like it was nah, like you was going in, like you made that I video, you turned that. It up. Did you write that that song? Um, no, 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 no. Um, we both parts. Oh, she writes. And she wrote all her bad thoughts. Okay. Out, and I kind of put it together and made it a song. Revised it and made it into what. Those it what became, the, what the yeah. world loves. Yeah, like, um, the thing was, like, Jim and Chrissy, at the time, they, they didn't know what was going on. Right. So, I got a call asking me to do a song, and I told her no. She came to my house. She explained what she wanted to do. I told her no. And, um... Then she got in. She said... She persuaded you with that yeah. concoction. Nah, she persuaded me with... We cash, we real, did, real money. That's some real shit. No, not no money, but it was more or less, you know, Freddie. If you don't do this, I'm gonna get somebody else to do oh. it, and it's gonna be bad. I'm gonna say this about Chrissy, that about Chrissy. I'm like, nah, you know. I was like, that's wild. Like, so I agreed to do it, and she changed the words and made it more fun. So that's what she did. That's what we did, and that's when you got the psychotic bitch. Did you get any money over that song? Or? Oh yeah, we made some money. Mama Jones still No, no, she did, but she was, for the looks of the show, you was upset because you didn't get your PC. No, I, I was upset because she went and signed a contract, um, licensing the rights for a company to distribute the record without my full right. consent. Or you being involved and, in the transaction. Yeah, in the transaction initially. And, you know, that's what I was upset about. And, you know, if you share something with like, somebody, you, you know, you gotta eat together. You can't just. Especially when y'all together, right? Huh? What's that? What's this mean? What's this mean to you? <laughs> I'm gonna turn into a meerkat. You ever seen the <laughs> Channel? You know my fucking <laughs> <What's>, like, <laughs> When I do that, <laughs> did it really smell like a pum pum? Never smelled a pum pum. You never, take, you never had this none of that pum pum? So weird. No, because you want flowers and wine to. That's my homegirl. You ever wanted it? What? No. Not even. So all the years of your friendship. Never seen Discovery Channel, them little mirror cats, they stand up and like. You, you, you told us that's what you was going to do. Like, I'm doing it again. <laughs> you're not digging. 
Nah, um, Mama Jones is a really good friend. She and she looks good. Like I buy her bodies though. Oh, she she looks like she looks good. That motherfucker. Mama Jones is strong as hell. Like straight up, I seen this lady jump on a chair in a gym and reach up and grab the basketball rim and do twenty pull ups. And I was like, what the fuck? And she was laughing the whole time. Hey, <laughs> Betty, hey, you so good. And I'm looking at her like, God damn, she got stronger than me. Get down! Get down for you poor Jimmy. Jim ain't gonna be trying to call me to ask him what happened. Fuck that. And you never looked at that superwoman and was like, mm, I could cuff that down. Nah, Vegas. Mm -hmm, sorry. She was in the elevator. And mama, um, <laughs> I don't like elevators, so I was kind of freaking out. I was like, nah, nah, I'm gonna be here. And Mama and Joy was like, all right, Freddie, let us see it. <laughs> and then, but they were joking around with me. Like, we would never, you know what I mean? We would, friends do that shit. Friends play a fucking Yeah, I've asked to see my friends' penises in elevators all the time. No, 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 no. Friends play around. Did you pull it out? When? You know when. Oh, nah, I definitely did not. Okay. No, I did not pull my penis out. And she did not ask me to pull it out. You said she did. Don't try to renege no. out, my nigga. No, 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 no. It wasn't like that. It was a joke. Okay. You feel me? It was all in fun and games. And they was laughing at me, making kind of like fun that we was trapped in the elevator together. And I'm right. like, no! That's all that was about. So when I told the story, on TV, they cut that they shit up it and made it seem like, like yeah. something was popping off like that where, yo, I love her to death, you know what I mean? I'd do anything for her. I will motherfucking tease a motherfucker. That's his booty. Entertaining people is like my thing. So whether it's acting, um, music, producing music, or doing stand-up comedy, those are all kind of the same. Um, sing for me, you know what I mean? Like, I, I love them all. So when Jim was about to put the beats on you, you had to remind him, like, nah, like, I know you feel like, I saw your son growing up, like, oh, Nah, it didn't go down like that. Okay. Um, y'all watch the episode? Nah, I'm, I'm talking about the, forget the, put the cameras off, he was angry, so in my mind, because we saw what he does, he pushes cameras away, and he tries to, like, you know... Choke people and shit? Yeah, so I was like, nah. Did he put his hands on your neck? Nah. Actually, we, we got into it. Did? Yeah, behind the scenes, they cut it out. Um, but when we got into it that day, it got a little crazy up in the studio. Was it triggered because of the song, or was it something else that triggered? Yeah, it was because of the song, and like I went to talk to him about it. I guess he wasn't in the mood to really talk like that. Mm -hmm. And then words got exchanged, the camera started flying, shit started falling. Why did y'all edit that out, BH1? I'm confused. It got too wild? Yeah, it got a little crazy. So what other projects or what can we check for for Freddie Robinson Jr.? Really just my comedy. Freddie Robinson is going to be out there. I recently met with Kevin Hart. Was and it a like, good interaction? It was a good interaction. It started out kind of rocky. Yeah, Mama Jones was thing. actually there. Oh. It was a good interaction. Like, we had fun. We took some pictures. He had his little VIP section and I don't like crowds. I'm close to fucking phobic. So I got my little ass on the other side in my little section. You know, I was hanging out with the girl, um, Micah, the tall girl from that new show on Bravo, um, Blood, Sweat, and Tears mm -hmm. or something Blood like that. Hills. Yeah. The white girl. Blood, Sweat, Hills, yeah, Micah. I was hanging out with Micah. We just smoking some hookah and shit, but like. What was in the hookah? No. But, you know, what's your Instagram? At Freddie Robinson on Instagram, at VH1 Freddie on Twitter, and Freddie Robinson Jr. on Facebook. I definitely appreciate this. You already know it's your girl, Miss Listen Knows, Imperial Hip Hop. Imperial Hip Hop! Follow them. And follow me. What's your Instagram? They know it. It's Miss Listen Knows.